We're diving into the top six soft skills that are absolute game changers in the workplace. Because let's face it, even if we love our work, we're ultimately working to feed ourselves or our families, which means getting that promo and the moolah. So not to leave you hanging with just the skills, but I'll recommend a book to help you further dive into each skill. And with that, let's go. Skill number one, compassionate feedback. Imagine a workplace where feedback is given with care and directness, where you can inspire change without stepping on toes. This skill fast tracks individual contributors into leaders that transform teams by really fostering an environment of growth and respect. And the team at the end of the day becomes more adaptable, nimble, and wins faster. And the perfect book to set you up for it is Radical Candor by Kim Scott. Skill number two, clear communication. This one's all about making your messages count. In today's fast-paced world, just being able to write messages clearly, concisely, and in a compelling fashion is like a superpower. This skill ensures that your ideas are seen and heard that cut through the noise like a hot knife through butter. And writing is the foundation for clear communication. That's right, writing. I've found that once you write something down, it really allows you to organize your thoughts and become more persuasive. Then you can use that writing to apply to the audio, the visual, and your day-to-day -day presentation formats. The recommendation here is Writing for Busy Readers by Todd Rogers. Skill number three, growth mindset. Ever face the challenge and thought, oh, I can't do this. We've all been there. But what if I told you there's a way to see challenges as opportunities, to believe in your ability to grow and improve? This mindset is a cornerstone of both professional and personal development. And it's incredibly important as a people skill because it manages the most important person, yourself, or in this case, myself. Because once you can manage yourself, you can make an impact on others. This classic is Mindset by Carol Dweck. It will make you a force of work nature. Skill set number four, intrinsic motivation. What truly drives you? No, really, is it money? Is it recognition or something deeper? This theme dives into the heart of motivation, exploring how understanding and tapping into our inner drives can lead to more fulfilling and effective work. Not to mention, when we figure ourselves out, we can use those same learnings to see what drives others to inspire them to be the best they can be by being self-aware. See a theme going on? For this, go to Drive by Daniel Pink. Skill number five, emotional intelligence. This is a skill that ties it all together. Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage your own emotions and those of others. It's what makes great leaders great, empathetic teammates, and genuinely happy individuals. Like when you hear something you didn't like in a meeting and avoid lashing out, but instead practice self-restraint to remain cool, calm, and collected. Also, it doesn't hurt to learn a few tactics like getting to know your coworkers' acceptable nickname to build rapport and such. Right, right T-Bone? Right, I'm talking to you. Check out Emotional Intelligence 2.0 by Travis Bradbury. Skill set number six, emotional agility. Lastly, I cheated a little bit on this one as it rounds off a list of some very, very good emotional skills and qualities to not only be a better leader, but a friend, a son, daughter, wife, husband, person, and the list goes on and on. Think tenacity, patience, conviction, humility, to name but a few. There are examples of how those can be put into practice to rise in your career and to bring out the leader within you. This one is 12 and a half by my guy, Gary Vanderchuk. Take your career to new heights with these six soft skills and books. Please share your own skills and resources in the comment section. And if this helped at all, share it with a friend and leave a like. I'm your book guy, Truman, and this has been a brief book club recommendation. See you in the next video.